So this is your body without creatine and this is your body with creatine. And a lot of things obviously happened here and my guess is that Let's actually find out because today we'll cover the actual truth of what actually happens to your body when you take in creatine for the next 30 days, including body changes, side effects, and the best way to take it for best results. Now, first of all, we need to understand what creatine is and how it actually works. So creatine is probably the closest thing to steroids. Well, maybe. And this is a small peptide that allows you to use more ATP stores, which are responsible for the body's energy, meaning those short initial outbursts during the early seconds of your heavy lifting. Creatine gives you more of that. So having this type of supplement within your system actually makes sure that your muscles push to the absolute maximum in order to produce more power and the first couple of seconds during an intense exercise. Now, majority of the creatine is stored within your muscles, and only 5% of it is actually stored within your brain, leading to some improvements within your brain function. And keep in mind as well that this is a supplement that you might already have within your body, but just not enough of it. Hence the need to supplement with it for greater benefits. So simply put, more creatine supplementation, more ATP stores, more strength and more muscle mass. Now this is not for everyone, however, according to the study, which actually showed that some individuals that had a full saturation of creatine did not experience any benefits whatsoever. Now, vegetarians, on the other hand, experienced far greater benefits of creatine. And this is simply because there's not much creatine within their body because creatine is found in meat. So for those that actually don't benefit from creatine, that's, that's fine. There's a lot more to life than creatine. Okay, so now let's jump into the timeline and actually uncover what actually happens to your body when you supplement with creatine for the next 30 days, this actually includes what to expect, how you'll feel, what you will see, and the side effects that you'll get. So now you pumped about creatine, now you can just rush off to the store and get yourself a scoop of creatine and start experiencing the benefits tomorrow. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Here's one thing to keep in mind. In order for you to start experiencing the benefits of using creatine, it needs to fully saturate your body. And specifically, this process might take longer or shorter, depending on the type of protocol that you decide to use. Because people tend to choose between the two loading protocols. You have the non-loading protocol and the loading protocol. Now, the loading protocol is done by taking 20 grams of creatine for the next seven days. And you do this by splitting this 20 grams into five grams taken at different times within that day. And with this approach, it will only take about seven days to fully saturate the creatine within your muscle fibers. And then there's the non-loading phase where you take about three to five grams of creatine on a day-to-day -day basis from day one until you reach full saturation and this protocol might take long about two to three weeks now following this after the loading phase you can now reduce the creatine intake to about five grams per day this is just enough to help you maintain the creatine saturation and with an unloading protocol you just continue on taking on the same dosage that you've been taking from day one this is enough to help you maintain the saturation. Now, don't go crazy thinking that adding an extra 15 grams to your daily intake of creatine will make you stronger than the rest of us. You'll just be broke quicker and that extra 15 grams will be waving goodbye whenever you urinate. Now, the side effects will differ from protocol to protocol. Right? For example, you might notice a spike within your body weight and this is due to the water that is retained within your muscle fibers since creatine draws water into the muscle cell and how much of that will it be well one to three pounds according to this study and this is for both protocols although this will take longer to show up on the non-loading protocol but this is a good thing from a muscle building perspective considering the fact that your muscles will look bigger and feel more full now stomach discomfort has been another side effect that has been reported time and time again and this could be due to several factors. Now, first of all, this could be that you are taking too much all at once. And even if you stick to the suggested dosage of the loading protocol and still experience some stomach discomfort, then you might want to dial down to the non-loading protocol. And again, if this still continues at this point, then the problem might be the poor dissolve of creatine within your body. And in order for you to counteract this, 
and you might want to use hot water to dissolve the creatine itself. Now you might get some blood tests actually indicating that there might be an impaired kidney function which could obviously raise an alarm. But keep in mind that creatinine, which is the broken form of creatine, will obviously increase due to the increased dosage of creatine or the supplementation of creatine. And this high level of creatinine will reflect as an impaired kidney function. But you still want to consult your healthcare provider with this particular aspect, just to be sure. Even though creatine has been proven time and time again by multiple scientific studies to be the safest, one of the safest supplements to use out there. Good, now creatine is fully saturated within your body. Now you've developed strength overnight and are ready to take on that guy that used to steal your lunch boxes and girlfriends. Okay, maybe not yet. First, let's keep this in mind. Yes, there are some strength improvements that you'll get from using creatine according to this meta-analysis review, showing about 8% strength boost and 14% increase in reps. In short, what I'm trying to say is, notice something here, that you have to do the work, that you actually have to get into the gym and actually lift, challenging yourself by making these workouts hard enough to take advantage of the creatine saturation. Then you'll look bigger, but still way less than Brony Coleman. And I mean, way less, like a lot less, simply because you're still a natural. And finally, stop losing your lunch boxes. Now, that is a solid return for muscle, since this will actually lead to a greater muscle mass. Now, you might also want to pay attention to the speed of your recovery, since a study that was carried out among 52 NCWA athletes. Here's a systematic review of six studies. The study actually found that taking creatine actually improves short-term memory and also increases intelligence or reasoning. This is good, especially if you engage in mentally demanding tasks on a day-to-day -day basis, like trying to tolerate that one person at your workplace that's always acting like they're smarter than you. Remember that creatine supplementation is just the icing on the cake. You need a proper training program and a proper nutrition to actually induce muscle growth. Hence the 10 week muscle building hypertrophy program linked down below. This is actually tailored for you to help you induce muscle growth and a free nutrition guide linked down below as well. So there. All you need to know about what actually happens to your body when you take creatine for the next 30 days. If you'd like to learn more about using creatine to build more muscle, then check out this video. And it's, it's also linked down below in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next video.